I had some serious FOMO checking Twitter this morning when I saw that one of our favorite VR reporters had received his HoloLens today. We've invited him on to let us know about his first thoughts on the AR headset. Headset. <laughs> Welcome, Russell Holly, editor. Hey, thanks for having me back. Thanks, editor. You're the editor at Android Central and VR head Heads. Uh, thanks for coming on. So you say your first impression of the HoloLens is that it's a cross between holding an iPad in front of your face that you can see through and then living in a world where your apps can just sort of live up on your walls and you walk up to them and interact with them. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's really neat. You put this headset on and uh, it's it's uh, it's sitting right here. I can't put it on while I have these headphones on. Um, <laughs> but it's uh, it takes up, a, a, you know, your entire field of vision is covered by these lenses. Uh, but you can see once the displays are on, it's really just like this space in front of you that's that's not that much bigger than an iPad. Uh, that that has all the information on it, all the the you know digital display and everything is is kind of superimposed on this lens. So you see the real world around you, but then you also see all of this virtual stuff, which is really neat. It, it gives you the ability to you know take uh, my my browser for example. I have a, an, an edge browser that is floating above my regular uh, computer monitor here in front of me, and then I have YouTube is actually uh, hanging out on that wall over there. Uh, so I can I can look up and see you know something happening on YouTube and I can reach out and click you know with my finger and it'll start playing whatever video it is that I that I had selected. So when you picked it up, it looked light, like it looked like the way you were picking up. Is it is it pretty light? Yeah, this is this is pretty light. You know, it's uh, it's right around the same weight as uh, the HTC Vive. Um, so it's not it's not super light and it's all uh, kind of weight balanced here in the front. Uh, so you you have this secondary part here, this this kind of halo that uh, that that tightly straps to your head to kind of give an anchor, so that the the weight is kind of balanced between the back of your head and your nose, so you're not wearing all of this on your nose. Mm -hmm. uh, but even you know wearing glasses, you know full time prescription lenses full time, and I have kind of bulky frames. It's really comfortable to wear. So what are some of the things you've done with it so far? I know you don't, did you really just literally opened it this morning or did you get it? Yeah, this is, I'm 10 hours in and I've done <laughs> a couple of silly things. I took a, a, a big virtual shark uh, and I put it in the living room and then I made my son walk through the living room. He had no idea like what it was he was going to see uh, and, and <laughs> was really amazed by seeing this shark just kind of floating and swimming in the living room. Um, you know, I've done a couple of silly things like that. Like I said, uh, you know, taking a, a monitor and, and fixing it somewhere. Uh, taking, you know, just a bunch of apps and putting them in places, not just in a specific room, but all throughout my house. And HoloLens maps these individual rooms so oh, that when I walk cool. into that room, it, it, you know, recognizes that map pattern and, and then, you know, kind of knows where those apps are. So, like, in my living room right now, just above my television, Netflix is, is sitting there waiting for me, um, which was a silly place to put Netflix. But it's, you know, it's, it's sitting there. Uh, and when I, if I were to walk from this room to that room with, with HoloLens on, the Netflix logo would be sitting above my television waiting for me to reach out and, and tap on it. Could you walk around watching Netflix? Oh, absolutely. To yeah. different rooms? You can, you can, you can move the, the you know, panel from, from room to room. Uh, the best example of this so far uh, is Skype. If you have a, a Skype call going, the, the video chat will just kind of float beside you as you're walking so that you can continue to talk to and see the person that you're having a video chat with. And when they send you files through Skype, you can actually take them and, and stick them to, to walls, uh, you know, anywhere in the room that you're in. So we heard, we've heard a lot about, um, you know, HoloLens from the, from the point where we first heard about it and, you know, the promise seemed a lot larger than kind of what it became over time. You know, the, the field of view, the field of vision kind of shrank down everything. Had you used it before this test and has it kind of, has it lived up to your expectations, at least in the, uh, the short time you spent with it? I've used it for a couple of minutes at a time and, and it was really, really kind of early stuff that was unofficial hands-on and, uh, if I if I told anybody that I had seen it, then I was going to get in trouble and, and stuff like that. So uh, it was stuff that was really broken at the time. This is still a developer preview, but it's surprisingly stable. The you know a lot of the things that you find in the Microsoft Store, uh, you know they they install, they run. There isn't any problems. I I've managed to crash it twice uh, on purpose, um, but uh, but you know just kind of normal day to day use, it it runs really well. Hmm. And was it uh, pretty easy to set up? Oh yeah, it is this really neat walkthrough where it's it's this kind of combination of voice and touch, 
Uh, and it's interesting, unlike uh, Google Glass, where it had that kind of touch panel on the side, everything is done out in front of you, uh, all the, the touch interactions. So it has these, these combination of gestures that it shows you very early on, where you kind of reach out with one hand with your finger up, and as soon as your finger is up in that area, the, the camera immediately picks it up. And, and so that becomes kind of the, your, your left and right click. Um, and there's always a dot in the middle of, of your field of view that you use as kind of your mouse pointer. So you, you point your head where it is that you want and you, you click with your finger and, and it works very similarly to, you know, right and left click on a mouse. So what was the most surprising thing uh, about it? Well, the most surprising thing about it, and this is going to seem kind of silly, there are these two little red tabs that are uh, on either side and they are speakers. Um, so the first thing that really caught me off guard was they're actually pretty nice and uh, hearing Cortana's voice, it was like right in my ears and I wasn't expecting it. Uh, you know, this kind of very friendly voice, this, you know, warm tone walking me through the setup instructions. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't overly loud or anything like that, but it was uh, it was unexpected and, and really nice. The, the, the speakers that they use, uh, you know, they... They do a pretty good job of delivering just about any kind of sound. Uh, I, have, I haven't tried just like a straight music file, but watching a couple of YouTube videos and, and you know, then having a call on Skype it was really clear. And they fit over the top of your ear or are they bone conducting or? No, it's, it's these little tiny uh, red speakers yeah. um, and they just they just kind of project down. Down. Oh, interesting. OK. Uh, you know, so like the, the band kind of runs along your brow, basically. Mm hmm. Uh, and so you you have the the speakers are basically just pointed right into your ears. Nice. But it has a an audio jack, a three point five millimeter jack. If you wanted to just wear earbuds or something. Right. So what are you going to do with it next? What's what's your bucket list for? What what do you have on your list for what you're going to do next? I I have two things in mind. The first I'm going to install as many of the the third party developer apps as possible to see what developers are doing as they're messing with this developer preview so far, um, and then I'm going to find a few more ways that I can break it. Um, just to see, you know, how stable it is. Because, like, the, the one thing that I do, I have a, a Wi-Fi network here at home that has really, un, like, non-standard characters. It's, a, it's actually the table flip emoticon. Um, and that breaks so many things. It's, like, the very first thing that I do is see what, what signs into that and works. And, uh, <laughs> and so I, I have a couple of things that I use uh, to see, you know, like, how I can break things. So it'll be fun.